now let us discuss about udp services udp mainly provides nine services they are process to process communication connectionless service flow control error control congestion control checksum unreliable encapsulation and decapsulation multiplexing and demultiplexing now let us discuss all these services one by one so first one is process to process communication a process on source host can communicates with a process on destination host with the help of a socket socket means a combination of ip address and port number so we have 1024 well defined pre defined port numbers are there if you take the example for smtp for simple mail transfer protocol the port number is 25 if you take http the port number is 80 so likewise we have 1024 well defined or pre defined port numbers are there so next one is connection less service udp is a connection less protocol here there is no need of connection establishment and connection termination directly just here uh, the sender and the receiver can communicates with each other by sending the data whereas if you take tcp uh, there the connection management involves three pages establishment connection establishment data transfer and connection termination but here there is no need of connection establishment and connection termination that directly the source and destination host can transfers the data directly and the third one is flow control here there are no flow control mechanisms so the sender can send data at a very faster rate assumes that receiver consumes the data at slower rate then what will happen sender is sending data at faster rate whereas receiver is consuming the data at slower rate so the buffer will be overflow so the packets may be lost but here there is no any flow control mechanism and the fourth one is error control so here udp doesn't provide any error control mechanism so here let the sender is sending the data uh, so after sending the data there is a possibility that that packet may be lost or it may be corrupted or the same packet may be retransmitted by the sender one more time there are no error control mechanisms here and the next one is congestion control so here in udp we don't have any flow control error control likewise we don't have any congestion control udp doesn't provide any congestion control so it feels that the packets are small the packet contains smaller data so there will be no congestion at the receiver side so udp feels that everything is going fine at the receiver side so we can say that udp doesn't provides flow control error control and congestion control and the next one is checksum we know about checksum it is useful for error detection so at the receiver side so the receiver will checks whether is there is any error in the message or header with the help of the checksum next one is unreliable udp is a unreliable protocol so here it sends the data sender sends the data but after sending the data the sender doesn't bother about whether that message was correctly received to the receiver or not it doesn't bother about that why because it is a unreliable protocol unreliable protocol okay so there are no error reporting mechanisms the sender doesn't bother about whether the message is correctly arrived at the receiver or not there is there are no acknowledgments here and the next one is encapsulation and decapsulation so application layer sends the message to the transport layer 
transport layer adds its header and sends the message to the network layer network layer adds its header and sends the message to the before network layer we have uh, data link layer so data link layer sends the uh, data link layer adds the header and sends the message to the destination so at the destination also we have data link layer network layer transport layer and application layer data link layer removes the header and sends the message to the network layer and network layer removes the header and sends the message to the transport layer transport layer removes the header and sends the message to the application layer so this is called as encapsulation decapsulation encapsulation will be done at the sender side so at the transport layer transport layer is adding its header and it is sending the message to the application layer uh, i'm sorry it is sending the message to the network layer network layer is adding its header and then data link layer is adding its header so that process is called as encapsulation various decapsulation means at the receiver side what the data link layer is doing it is removing its header and sending its message to the transport layer network layer so network layer what the network layer is doing it is removing the header and sending the message to the uh, on top of network we have transport so that process is called as decapsulation so decapsulation means removing the header and sending the message encapsulation means adding the header and sending the message and the last two service is multiplexing and demultiplexing if you see here so this is sender this is receiver so at the sender we have three processes these three processes wants to send some message to the three processes at the receiver side but here we have only one udp so it follows many to one approach so many to one means many number of messages are combined into one message so based upon the port number so process 1 has one port number process 2 has one port number process 3 has one port number so all the messages are combined into one message this this is called as many to one and that message will be transmitted to the network layer and it will be this is nothing but receiver side so this is nothing but network layer so network layer is receiving that message and it is transmitted to the udp so at the udp what will happen so base it follows it follows one to many it follows one to many so here we have three messages so based upon the port numbers the corresponding message will be transmitted to the process okay so this is nothing but one to many this is nothing but many to one so this many to one process is called as multiplexing so combining multiple messages into a single message whereas this one to many is called as demultiplexing so one message will be splitted into several so these are the various services of udp